This program is about nerdy podcasts. Whenever possible, the actual family members and hosts have participated in recreating the shows. What you are about to hear is not a news podcast. Tonight on Unlisten to Podcasts, a lonely rock god looking for love in all the wrong places meets up with two other men for a good time, only to be caught up in a nerd news podcast called Breaking the Panel. In Louisville, Kentucky, listeners claimed they've heard a comic book nerd lifting weights and fighting fires, a blazing defender report, or a hoax. Five drunken friends gather together to role play, and they are never seen again, called Botched, a D&D podcast. Were they transported to another dimension, or did they pass out under the table again? A group of Australians claim they received alien messages on exclusive toy deals. They claim these toys then came to life and sodomized them. Another shrimp won the Barbie, or some sick alien experiment in toy power. Three men Pokemon Go podcast into the wilds to hunt for local wildlife. They claim to have seen a ghastly haunter floating in the mists. After retelling their stories of Gengar, will they give up the ghost or reveal something unexpected? Them actually catching something for a change. Our last story involves three innocents as they walk down a foggy street. In a flash, they are surrounded on all sides by physical embodiments of geek culture. How did they survive in a battle of geek versus humanity? For every mystery, there is someone out there who knows the truth. Perhaps that someone is listening. Perhaps it's you. If you have any information regarding the cases presented tonight, please go to www.giantsizeteamup.com. If you wish, you need not give your name. www.giantsizeteamup.com Not long ago, bros. Deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken bros came together to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by Brodom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our here bros venture forth to explore strange new lands. So gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers, and join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D broadcast. Previously on... I separated myself from the group so as to face the heroic danger heroically alone. I went down a hallway and into a... some sort of chariot pit, formed a crack team of charioteers, and awaited for the battle to begin. And awaited. And awaited for the battle to begin. Yeah! All right, welcome back, listeners, to Botch Podcast. This is our uh, 13th episode of the uh, third season. Thanks for sticking with us, and uh, this is Austin, your DM. Uh, We're going to begin where we left off, where the uh, intrepid adventurers had uh, boarded their chariots and were awaiting the uh, fucking the door. What, is that? what are those doors called? Gate? Gate? Multiple doors. It's like it raises up. Yeah. It's got portcullis. A, yeah, the portcullis to uh, rise up. And release them to do great battle. <laughs> so I'm I'm with Toset. Yeah. So uh, the yeah. the chariot order is uh, the first chariot that will be able to leave. The uh, portcullis itself is wide enough for all three chariots to be right be- beside each other. But then there's a slight. I didn't feel like fucking drawing it in every single one. There's a slight like uh, ramp that makes only one chariot go. A hallway time. narrows. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so, uh, you guys can figure out the order yourselves, but going just by uh, these chariots, the first one that was decided is uh, Pavel. You are driving the first chariot with Raul and Toset as your backups. I thought, I I thought Toset wasn't was driving. the driver. No. Yeah, I'm not driving because I had this whole shield thing figured out with Merrick where mm-hmm. the rope so he to- could take people out. Toset's driving because he's got a plus four to animal handling. Yeah. And Toset can, is driving. And you can they're, still shoot lightning while driving. They're cane oh. horses. For these snow elves. Once. Yeah. Once. You can still cast spells. I'm sure there's not like a Shoot the horse, ball. and then they're dead. Hmm? Yeah, you, use it during the race, because we won't be going into a, a battle with a... Is there only supposed to be one chariot a left mega in bear. this? Hmm? Like, is... Like, how do you determine the winner? Like, is it just until there's one chariot left? Or we don't know. We don't, we don't know. No idea? No, okay. I'm, I'm guessing we're all on a team, and once a team of chariots wins... Do our you? three chariots have a certain color? Oh my god, we did uh, the challenge. Well, no, but I meant like, like visibly in the game. Yeah, I'm talking in game. Yes. 
Yeah, we decorated them before Dark we, green, we went out. Light green and baby blue. We, we used <laughs> the uh, the blood of that child that Tosat ate. And had baby what? blue blood. Baby, baby blue, baby blue baby blood. Blue blood. That's a pirate name, name called it. All right, so Tosat, you are driving. Raul and Pavel are uh, passengers. Mm-hmm. And then the next chariot, it is Driver, the NPC, Gar, driver. and Merrick. That's your chariot, Merrick. Uh, and then the third chariot is uh, driven by Kix. And it's got Gam Gam, the old lady. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I put a question mark, so I think I put another random person in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Who's so, Calf? Who's got... No, he's outside. No, Where's he's, Gar? Gar's, Gar's with me. Merrick. Okay. And it's Driver. It's Chariot Twat. <laughs> Chariot Twat. All right. Chariot Twat. Chariot Twat. <laughs> Cherry Twat. Cheerio Twat. What's our chariot name, Twat, Twat, Cheerio. <laughs> yeah, do you guys want to get uh, team names for your chariots? I don't know. What should it be? Three's company. What do you think it should be, Tosa? <laughs> three, three men and a baby. There's no baby anymore. <laughs> it's in your tummy. It's still in your tummy. Yeah. Three men and a delicious baby. Three men and a baby. And we're get... three. So, what's our Wi-Fi three name, John? Creatures I know. Baby. No, that's the Wi-Fi pass. Oh yeah, that's true. But you guys are three men and a baby. Two men and a baby. And a lizard man. What? One one and a half men. Chariot and a lizard, what? And a baby. Is that your name? Do you want to come over? Chariot Hwat. One and a half men and a... Two men and a baby, Chariot Hwat, and then Kicks and Gam Gam and Randos is called Death Wish. <laughs> <laughs> Which was Gam Gam's. Yeah. Yeah, that was her idea. <laughs> Please take me. This <laughs> I'm so tired of this. She's not friendly, right? If I remember correctly, she's kind of a... Twat. Kind of a bitch. I don't remember her talking. Eh? Hello. Hello. Yes. Mrs. Doubtfire. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 The portcullis opens. Dirt and dust shake from the hole where the portcullis goes up into. Uh, you hear the raucous cheers and fanfare of hundreds of pale, semi hairless, Kyrie snow elf crazy motherfuckers up there just. <laughs> Is it bright out here? Like, do they have um, stadium lights on us? Or how is the, the, the death pit that we are about to ride into illuminated? It is lit, fam. So as the first chariot uh, with Toset, Pavel, and Raul leaves their staging area and enters the arena itself, uh, the place is completely lit by torches, bonfires, and uh, large piles of mushrooms from your buddy. What's his fucking name? Close room. Mm-hmm. Uh, mushroom Wegman. 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 Yeah, Wegman's Wegman's mushrooms across the place, yeah. just glowing, and uh, all the Kyrie and the stands are, are uh, very excited, uh, hooting, hollering, throwing things around. Some of them are even, you know, mating and uh, uh, copulating, <laughs> fornicating, killing each other, <laughs> eating babies. I'm looking at you, Toset. I might have to do a con check. Yeah. Just because of everything, just. Do you have, like, stage fright? Well, uh... No, he's just, high as fuck I'm, I'm on mushrooms, so it's All just right, like... Yeah. Chariot agoraphobia. That's a 15? That's pretty solid. Well, he didn't get sick. Do a wisdom save. Sure. Save. That's a, uh... A three? You are not keeping it together, man. Uh, Pavel and Toset, you guys both noticed that Raul is... Just kind of, like, standing on the chariot, gripping the one side... I'm getting very small. He's like, mm-hmm. oh man, looking at his hands, going, oh no, no looking no. up around. Ah. Did I shit myself? Are you having I a bad know. trip? Do not have a bad trip in the middle of a fucking fight. I turn around and it's just a um um a, a, a man with Medusa snakes going everywhere, <laughs> and each one is talking at a different point. <laughs> and his and his eyeballs are like black pools that are sucking his face back into itself. Uh, uh. So rules losing his shit. Uh, so, 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 so rule. Eight, in 18 to just another like you're still losing your shit but you're not like gonna actively sure. jump mm-hmm. off the chariot or stab anybody or anything not yet I mean yeah not yet that apparently not. it usually happens so yes alright Raul you're losing your shit um, it wouldn't be the first time that somebody in this party got stabbed uh, who got stabbed by Raul <laughs> <laughs> 
Kev got stabbed. He did you not get stabbed. I didn't stab him. Cutting somebody and stabbing somebody are two totally different yeah, things. Yeah, it's the same, You're not in character same idea. No, I'm speaking out again. This is not a character conversation. He's talking in character. <laughs> well, you should be talking in character as well. <laughs> That's not the right wall to break. <laughs> <laughs> You're only breaking the third wall. You're breaking the wrong fourth wall. I feel like Tina Belcher just... I don't have anything that can fix that. You're going to feel like Tina Turner here in a bit if you don't fucking wear man up. Uh, I'm going to go Ike Turner on you. Smack you. Don't touch me. By the way, drivers, aka toe set, you're considered to have proficiency with a chariot. Just so you guys don't immediately crash. (laughs) (laughs) No proficiency. Go. It just dead. flips on its side. And driver knows how to drive. Yes. He's a very skilled driver. I knew that when I saw him. Yes, first he's, he's Adam. I was going to mini. Mini. I thought I was going to use uh, animal handling. Uh, Avril. <laughs> no. Can I call you Avril? You can use animal handling to influence the fucked up elk. Uh, they say. We should go for the other people's horses as well. I mean, take them out They're of the elk. Chairs. But it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, yes, when they are immobile, they are easier to kill. Yeah. What if they're bears? Bury it. Well, the first chariot enters the arena uh, from their door in the uh, northwest quadrant. And you can see uh, three other doors and three other chariots exiting their portcullises. Uh, so the one right here does have a bear leading it. And the one in the uh, southwest quadrant, that first chariot has a bear leading it. And the other two have some form of horse or elk. Bears are pretty slow. And they're hard to train. They can run pretty fast. I don't think they run as fast as horses. Boy, elk. You're, yeah, you're right. But elks don't have or as claws. Long. We'll have the endurance advantage. Like, if we get up next to a bear, he can just snap at us or swipe us. Yeah, they still have one brain. You just stab them in the brain, they're dead. To I the know, bears! There's many bears. Charge the, those bears, they might driver! Be people. They might be people as well. Bears are not people. I don't... Th- Understand the difference. Everything still has one brain. It dies immediately. Except for the things that have two brains. Like the what? same worms what will eat them too. Don't worry about it. They are all equal in the light. Do all your snakes have brains? Sick and yes. tired of these motherfucking snakes on <laughs> this motherfucking brain. brain. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, so uh, you enter the arena. Um, and it looks like no one else is full tilt yet, waiting to get everyone else onto uh, the track. Uh, and you hear a large gong. So on the south side of the arena, and back up onto where the uh, what the, the stadium seating and the chaos of all the Kyrie is uh, a mound with one larger-looking snow elf standing up there with a staff. He's just hit a large gong, and he screeches, and the, and the entire arena goes silent. Welcome, welcome, everyone! Who's excited to be here? And then the crowd goes wild and waves his staff. Shut up! No, not yet! I'm excited to fight the danger. (laughs) Do we understand what he's saying? I'm translating to you. I speak Elvish. Pavel, you didn't let me finish. (laughs) Tosin. Pavel, I'm translating what's going on. Oh, thanks. And Toseth is correcting him. Yeah, because grammatically, <laughs> was... he said that we're going out for di- for treats. Uh, no, <laughs> there was there was improper syntax. We're, we're gonna get ice cream after this. <gasps> no, he said we're going to be creamed after this. <laughs> we'll be bear cream after. This. <laughs> we're gonna be milked. It's one of the same. Go to the creamery. <laughs> the the <slang>. screamery. <laughs> the screamery. <laughs> ice scream. <laughs> what else, slang? I don't want to be here anymore. All right, so the larger elf on the mound uh, quiets down the the arena and all of the crazed snow elves, uh, and and yells, "Again, we have come to challenge the might of the surface world and see if they are worthy to be one of us." And then the obligatory, "One of us, one of us, one of us." Okay, that's enough. That's enough. We all know the rules of this, but just for the sake of everyone that doesn't, I will go ahead and explain it. So first, the last three chariots 
remaining in action will face the final test. The rest of them will probably be dead. We have to... We have to... We have to live, Pavel. You said you just got. Oh, is that how it said, Felix? Oh, I wasn't. Okay. What if we all stepped onto the, the surviving chariot? I don't think that the. No, I don't think that's probably, that's probably not right. Hmm. Yeah. Shh, you guys sorry, are interrupting. <laughs> is he staring at me? <laughs> yeah, he's looking right at you. I'll, I'll wait for you. <laughs> are you done? Almost. Y- yeah. Would you like to see a pan flit? <laughs> he hears that coming out of the tunnel because you're not even out yet, Mary. <laughs> d- d- come on, let me let me just finish this so we can get to it. I'm a terrible leader of elves, all right? I just... Like, stop questioning. You know what? Can't Let's do it! Mockery. And he hits another gong. Gong. He says he's Italian. The only rules is don't leave the pit. I think. Fuck it. You can leave the pit. You just have to win. Ka! Ka! <laughs> he screams. Kalima! All the, all the... <laughs> Kalima! Yes, Shakti Kalima. Hamlam Shabari, Hamlam Shabari, Hamlam Shabari. That's racist. Hits another racist. gong, and all of the Kyrie in the arena go crazy. The three other chariots that you can see start going full speed. Uh, moving forward, so do you guys want to get going? Yep. Are they? Yeah. Are they? Is every other chariot going counterclockwise, it's or are they going clockwise? So counterclockwise or around? Anti-clockwise. And then the center. So the level that you're on is uh, lower than the, the arena stadium, and the seating and all the chaos going up there. But then there's a le- uh, a lower level, kind of like a crater. and then a pit right in the middle. How do you get to the lower level? Like you, you, can, get... you can hop. It's probably about a jump like this. Oh, so if you go to the lower level, you, you can't I'm really... I'm sorry, yeah. Go on. So if you get to the lower level, you can't really get to the back to the higher level? No, there's a ramp. There Is are ramp two right ramps <laughs> okay. on the north and south where uh, if you go up them, you can get back up to the upper, upper level. Okay. Uh, the pit in the middle is very deep and dark and you can't really see down uh, okay. what's going on down there. Sure. And then ball. there are two what looks to be towers on the east and west sides of that pit. Okay. Uh, right now it looks like there's nothing on them but there seems to be maybe a pulley system so possibly weapons or equipment can be brought up there just randomly throughout the event. Through the goatsy hole. Okay. Through the goatsy hole, yes. Got it. Yes. Cool. Does that I am ready. Is that your voice? But I'm talking to Pavel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, let's go. It's already got started. We're off. Raul, in times of fright, I like to look at my pamphlets. They Goodbye, Beric. Yep, see you later. <laughs> I throw him a paper airplane. So, uh, Toset, as a driver, um, if you just do a regular move action with the chariot, mm-hmm. you can move two spots. Okay. Uh, if you expend your action for the turn so you don't, like, do any turns or uh, slam into things or yeah. equip a weapon and throw it, uh, you can go four spaces. <clears throat> we'll go four spaces. Right. And as we move, to um, Merrick throws me a paper airplane. That's a as pamphlet. A, that's a pamphlet. And I give him strength. With a 17, oh. I reach out and touch faith. Well, I mean, how good of a paper airplane was it? What, what kind of roll is that? Uh, slate of hand? To fold it first? Yeah, sure. I got a three to fold it. <laughs> okay. So I kind of just crumple it into you a crumple ball. You crumple into a ball. Yeah. And then, uh... And then you athletics pull two it. bits to make it look like it's got wings. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll get a... I'll get a... Six. Eleven to, th- to throw a crumpled ball of paper. And you got a seventeen to catch it? Uh, yeah, you got it. It's a crumpled piece of paper. <laughs> And your hands are sweaty. And my hands are glowing. <laughs> yeah. Just the one hand that caught. Look how big your hands are, Raul. Whoa. They can touch everything except themselves. I don't even need <laughs> hammers. <laughs> the light was inside of you with all the time. I eat the pamphlet. <laughs> Do we want to slow down slightly so that way... Merrick's chariot can be in line with us so we can take out other chariots? Or how do we want to do that? That sounds... My idea was to catch up to the first one. They'll be yeah, gone we'll by the time we get side. there. Yeah, but there's more coming out. All right, so uh, you're off. The large Kyrie that was uh, yelling at you and declaring all the things about the rules and shit. And they're off. We've got newcomers in the first quadrant. 
I think they're calling themselves two men and a baby. And they're off, going full speed. We also have Skull Tip and Kill Dongle in Zesty Evisceration coming in again. Local favorites, everyone loves them. Let's see how the new guys do. So you guys have moved, uh, let's just go four spaces uh, forward into the track. Most of the others have also gone four spaces except for Zesty Evisceration, the yellow seven up there. They only took a little, uh, it went a little slow. Which one are the bears? Uh, these guys have bears. The bears. Skull oh, okay. tip. Numero uno. So they move just as fast as us. Mm-mm. Fast bears. Fast bears. They're oh. bears on PCP. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't catch up. <laughs> Stay far behind. <laughs> How high are the walls? So high. Um, they are... 40 feet. 30 let's, feet. Let's say 30 feet. Okay. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Sheer wall. I'm gonna try to play to the crowd. Okay. Since there's no real action yet. Okay. Like, I don't know. Fucking get all uh, big winged arm and throwing them in the air. Yeah. Beating my chest. Okay. Like a defensive player in the NFL. Yeah, before like us. Ray Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. So give me a performance check. Uh, that is a sixteen. Ooh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, now you don't get the attention of the entire audience, but definitely people around uh, this the section that you're near. Uh, instead of just ignoring you and looking forward to the other chariots, go. Ah, that one's kind of cool. Look, he's waving his arms. Ah! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Help me! I'm tripping. <laughs> is this real? And the crowd is just a smear. <laughs> Look at that one. He's losing <laughs> his tits. <laughs> Uh, crowd just looks like a Jackson Pollock painting. It's <laughs> <laughs> off his tits. It's got your father's voice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, back, motherfucker. <coughs> Not Raul's, but my actual father. <laughs> so, because of your uh, your hype move, uh, some of the people in the crowd near you have, are throwing like food and and bouquets of mushrooms at you guys. Cool. <laughs> Woo! Very excited. Should should we try and kill a big guy? You mean the guy up top? Yeah. I thought about it for a hot second, and I was like, nah. So I'd rather. I can get two of us up to the top. What? I can get two of us up top. You want to kill their leader? You want to go up and then 30 assume feet. assume power? Oh, I'm sure that would go well. Yeah. In a crowd. In a crowd of <laughs> how many thousands? Many. Many thousands? Yeah, it could work. We'll roll that out. Let me try to kill one of these bears before we plan <laughs> yeah. our assassination. I mean, we don't have to do it right now. Are we mic'd? Do they have mics, lapel mics on us? <laughs> Nobody can hear us, right? Uh, no. I okay. Mean, it's over, the, over the raucous uh, <laughs> cheering right. and, and excited noises. <laughs> all no right. The old cast pressed the digitation on all of us so our voices are enhanced. <laughs> uh, can they hear us? These guys suck. We should kill the big one. I'm not ruling it out. I just think. I'm not saying that not right now. All right. You know, baby, it's right. it's an option. All right, Pavel, just calm down. Gar. Oh, I have mage hand too, so I could undo some some of the chariots, things, like whatever the hold, like <laughs> the they're holding. What? Yeah, the linchpin or whatever. I don't understand what he's saying. He's a magic thing. I don't know. I got mega little magic. Why am I Italian? Oh, Jesus. Hey, I got mega little magic. I got mega little magic. I make a last order of a pasta. And then, you know, I catch it on the linchpin. And I eat it. And then to slick the drag, I got the marinara. It's an oil slick. I have a magic hand. I can, you know, as we come up on them, I can undo. So then You're just going to jerk a bear off, you fucking German weirdo. It, it, actually, it can't lift more than 10 pounds. I, uh, I know from experience. So bears probably bigger than 10 pounds. It really isn't. Probably bear bears dick? don't have 10 pounds. Yes, yes, <laughs> I'm guessing the they bear. don't it's have certainly one. wrong. No, each of these chariots is leaving a very indi- <laughs> indicative line behind them. They have a giant They're the stick. 1% bears. <laughs> yes. Bread for their giant dicks. <laughs> The giant dick bear. So from Wakanda. The underground giant dick bear. From Wakanda. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, is, that, is it from the people that are like, don't let them tell you that Wakanda isn't real. Uh, the average bear's penis is 9.1 inches. 
So so pretty fun. Pounds. Pounds. Today I learned <laughs> I've got a dick. Smaller bear dick. Bear Doesn't penis. say weight. But the bear, the bone that's inside their penis. Now they're one of those bone penis. Yeah, things. is seven. Is a lot of mammals are. The average is seven point three inches. Oh, Sounds painful. Inch. It just kind of like erupts out of the type of their penis. Then is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, the, the bone. Bo- Wait, never mind. I got no. the numbers back. It's like a grappling <laughs> hook. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an alien. alien yeah. Yeah. From aliens. <laughs> hey, baby, you like this? Check this out. <laughs> 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 it's a fucking switch blade dick. <laughs> fucking bone. Right. You helicopter it, and that makes it come out. Oh my god. That- <laughs> <laughs> Gar. Less of that. Oh, uh, yeah, I've uh, forgotten how to talk. <laughs> Do you think we can hit them with our javelins from here? I mean, it's kind of a distance. Maybe. Surely for one as strong as you are. I mean, I can, I can, I've hit the moon before. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Let's <laughs> wait, <laughs> let's wait till they're closer so it's easier, a sure. Yeah, I don't want kill. to Im- immediately pulverize them with my immense strength and javelin throwing expertise. No, yes, we have to have a good show. Yes, we've got to g- yeah, give them a chance. Wow, wow. Driver, get us alongside two men and a baby. Um, all right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, chariot what? Your chariot has left the portcullis gate and are out. You guys want to do a full move? Oh, yeah. All right. And uh, Toset and company, two men and a baby, will you guys be also doing a full move? Should we slow down? A full move, Wes, us alongside you? That would be staying in place. <clears throat> we'll get close to two if we do um, the s- skull splitters. Well, they're Is that move, what you're calling them? They're going to move each time. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are going to go against, be the, there instead. against the current? Yeah, so three would be coming out right when we get there. Mm-hmm. I like to kill. Mm-hmm. Double move. Whip that pony. Whip, 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 whip that pony. Oh, those are dice trails. Can I see how our chariot is attached to the animal from where I'm located on the chariot? Uh, ropes and shit? So it's just tied onto the animal. It's not like a hitch or anything. Ropes and shit. Ropes and shit. Okay. And dung. Grope some shit. All right, Team B on chariot hot. You have, uh on a full move onto the uh, far west side of the arena. Two men and a baby has come up right against the entrance, or right before the entrance of the southwest door, where Cherry Wind, the chariot, is coming out. Oh, I hate chatties. <laughs> Pavel, you're a child. <laughs> we kill them first. And we see the first combat on the northeast quadrant between... Zesty evisceration and Gary's Law. Javelins have been thrown, but nothing hit. What's the distance on each one of these little markers? Five, ten feet? Whatever the move of a horse is. One hundred feet. It's not not one hundred feet. (laughs) It's one hundred feet. Just trying to figure out how far you could throw a... Thirty-three yards. How far away you could be (laughs) and hit something. I think it might be a hundred feet. Each one of the... Yeah, each spot is a hundred (laughs) feet. So we couldn't hit a chariot in front of us. Ever. <laughs> Gark. Ever. We can never hit a chariot. <laughs> no, javelins are 120. <clears throat> With disadvantage. Yeah. It's like, I think there's 60. Yeah, right Gar, Gar hit one of the moons, but which one? 120. <laughs> it's true. The man who was mooning him from 50 <laughs> feet away. Gar killed Keith Moon. I'm going to say they're 40 feet. I'm going to say each space is 40 feet. Uh-huh, so each one of these spaces is 40 feet. So you're about 40 feet so. away from the entrance. So you can only reliably hit somebody if you're Space right behind them. Depending on your <clears throat> weapon, Raul. I, di- I didn't ask. Longbow? He asked. I'm saying I you asked. have the longest range weapon. I do. Yeah. I've got two very good long range weapons. So. so how would this work if we are going to attack another chariot? Well, um, you can see the chariot is coming out of the gate right now. They notice you almost right away, so they're going to go into a, a full spree, full speed gallop. Sprint? Sprint. Hiya! They're going to go very fast and try and get as far away from you as possible, but they just left the gate and you're already going full speed. Um, 
you are in range to attack. I mean, I'm gonna throw the a effective jab range one. for an attack is even up to like this far away. It's about uh, 120 feet away, maybe two or three spaces depending on your weapon. I want to try and throw a javelin in the wagon wheel or okay. chariot wheel. Um, so yeah, if you want, <laughs> <laughs> please <laughs> out, get out, no <laughs> wagon wheel, get out. <laughs> All right, your chariot isn't rule. a chariot. You have a wagon. You have a covered wagon, <laughs> and it's full of TNT and oxen. An oxycodone. Turner Network Television. I want to do a reckless attack. Does it have to be melee, John? Rule. No. I mean, or? it's a strength attack. Oh. I don't think so. All right, sweet. Uh, since you're going... Okay, so chariots, they each have their own HP. Uh, the wheels have their own HP, and then there's people in the chariots as well. And there's also the elk, or the bear, or the horse, or whatever it is. Mm. Each thing has HP as well. Okay. So yeah, if, you, if you just attack one of the chariots, uh, if you hit, uh, it'll be the DC of the chariot, and then I'll roll and see if you hit someone inside, or basically a random oh, chance, because so you're just aiming in a direction. But if uh, you try and hit something specifically, it's a cult shot. Yeah, no, I'm totally calling the shot and of the wheels to try and have jam the wheel. To melee weapon attack. <coughs> oh, so it's only melee weapon? Okay. Uh, the driver has half cover. The uh, two other uh, people on the chariot do not. What are these chariots made out of? Uh, all different ki- types of materials. Yours is made of what seems to be wood, chitin, some bone. Piss. What about the Piss. one that... What about Vinegar. The w- what about the Hell one? What about the one that we're about to come upon? Ew! Ooh. Seems to be a very high quality one. This is uh, Gary's Law, is the name of this chariot, and it is uh, made of high quality oak with uh, fine ironwood vine l- lashings and sure. rope bits. Iron and wine. So, is there initiative, or you should probably go for the. Riders, then. Yeah, I'm going to go for the riders. In combat between chariots, uh, whoever attacks goes first, and okay. then the other people may try and retaliate. All right. 13. Okay. Jerking two dicks at once. Get your dick right in them, Raul. We're getting a camera for that, so it's right into it. It's like you're really there. I did good. I you rolled. Done, you done good. I rolled good. <laughs> I rolled them dice good. I need more coffee. How about some mm-hmm. A thirteen light? does. Uh, oh, well, you were you were going for the wheels, weren't you? Not anymore. No. After you okay. described it, you said no. All right. So uh, you do hit. Jav on target. Jav on target. Jav on. Uh, as you throw the javelin, go ahead and roll damage. Three. <laughs> you throw the javelin, and it flies true, directly hitting the driver of the chariot mm-hmm. uh, right in the shoulder. He's not down, but he's lost the use of one arm. Uh, ah. The chariot itself looks like they're not going to be able to control it very well. Rebel? Um, I was <clears throat> going to use my grappling hook okay. and try to catch one of the guys on it. Go for it. Um, is that a dex? Yeah, let's use. Uh, let's just do a basic dex attack. 21. You, yes. Uh, you get to the chariot. Let's see what you can catch. You catch one of the one of the uh, passengers. <clears throat> you catch him right in the right in the back. Just, uh, st- strength to pull him okay. off. Go ahead. Come on, big money, big money. It's a twelve. You uh, defeat his strength strength check of seven with your twelve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you pull him off of the chariot, and we're just gonna do this in time. <laughs> so we just trample him. <laughs> That's what I was hoping. Let go of the grappling hook? Huh? Or are you just want to drag him along behind us? <laughs> I kind of want to drag him. <laughs> yeah, if he, if he doesn't That'll get underneath you. your chariot. Yeah. If he doesn't get stuck. Look back every once in a while. It's 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 like a, 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 a flare, a, 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 you know, a ribbon. We should drag all of our victims, victims behind us. It's like a bumper sticker. Oh. I'm not saying it out loud. Wow. All right. No, we're not going to drag anybody behind <laughs> behind uh, the the chariot. That's probably a bad idea. All right. The man that you grapple hooked, uh, you managed to pull him off the chariot, and he goes underneath the wheels and hooves of your chariot, dealing a significant amount of damage. He pops out the back. You are not dragging a lifeless corpse. He's corpse. He is still barely alive. But we're dragging Ooh. him. You are dragging him. Yes. Um. How far behind us is he dragging? 
He is uh, considered within your space. So he's like right behind Probably us? Probably about 20 feet. Okay, I'm yeah. fine with 20 feet. He'll no, dive like, right He's going to start us. like climbing to Could I'll, I... I'll look back every once in a while. <laughs> Could I, with my other hand that is free, try to just shoot a cross bolt into him from my crossbow? Uh, you already made one yeah. attack action. Right. I, just, I was so. trying. All right, uh, and uh, you drove. Do you want to do anything? Well, you did a full action. I did so a full action. Good. All right, um, and we're going to move on to the next iteration, next few seconds of action. Six Round. seconds to go a fucking long, long distance. Does he get his full movement with one hand? The the chariot we just attacked? The chariot you just hit only moves uh, two spaces. Because the guy's like, oh, God. Yeah. So he can't do a full uh, double move action because he doesn't have the control over the range. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be funny if he uh, veered off to the left and just ramped down below into the death pit. Death pit. If we could somehow get in front of that chariot, the dragging body might kick some dust up into the driver's faces. We could do that. that. I'm behind you, so don't. Do that. No, he's no, talking no, no, about no. the because we're moving. Enemy. Mm-hmm. He's moving everybody around. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Merrick, do you want to do a double move? Uh, yeah, I want to. I'm trying to get next to our buddy Raul's chariot. I don't know who this Pavel guy is. And so I said he's some kind of baby-eating monster. Toset, how far are we? Uh, how far are we driving, boys? We want to move up, to up, the, in, up in front of three. They get an attack of opportunity for going uh, past, above and beyond, above and beyond okay. surviving against the party, which is quite significant. The one passenger on uh, Gary's law that um, you pass throws a uh, javelin, but it whiffs and misses. Yell an insult. Good what, what, what race is, is that person? Looks human. You suck! Oh, I got nothing. <laughs> I have no idea what to call him. I don't nice know this person. Nice try! I'm going to make you into a lovely accordion after we're done here. Look at me, I just ate a human baby! <laughs> <laughs> As he's driving. And there's like a little baby arm sticking out. No, he's snout. chewing on like a chicken. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's got the baby arm as a cigar that he's just gnawing on. <laughs> Look at all of these D's. <laughs> so Babies don't have teeth in their arm. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess the the body of their comrade is just right next to... Okay. Well, you went around, uh, you, you veered around it. The uh, width of this section of the arena is large enough that you can actually pass them. Uh, so the guy who's grapple hooked in his back is just flailing wildly on the ground. Oh, God! He wanna... attempts to free himself and fails. Does it drive it deeper into him, the no. grappling hook? No. Mm-hmm. But he should be starting to bleed... And dirt, or maybe just take damage. He's, he's he's taking, damage. taking damage. Yeah, yeah. he'll and die he'll, eventually. I was just gonna shoot the driver again. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna throw another javelin to the driver. <laughs> I don't. Okay. I got a five. Nope. That'll, 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 that'll not. Sorry. Do it. Six. Ooh. No. Still slightly better, but still not. So, this crossbow that I have, mm-hmm. is it a one-handed crossbow or is it two? I, I don't. Is remember. it a heavy crossbow? It's a heavy crossbow. It's two-handed. So it's two-handed. Yeah. Two. Oh, I have a crossbow too. Fuck. You can try and attach the <sighs> grappling hook rope to something, and then use the crossbow. Could or I? Could I pass the rope off to Pavel to hold? Yeah. You could even tie it to just your chariot. tie it on the chariot. All right, I tie it onto the chariot. That's fine. And then I'm going to take a shot at the driver. Okay. Of Gary's law. Correct. All right. Uh, a 17. That'll hit. And then. Did you want to do a cold shot? It's 11 damage. Um, I didn't say it before I rolled, so... So, all right, I'll roll and no. see what you... All right, yep, that's hit. right. <laughs> you hit the driver. Uh, and with 11 damage, you fire the bolt with such tenacity and... and, and gumption. Excitement. Gumption. Uh, aim. Aim, yeah. Good. With you're, you're quite on fleek with that crossbow bolt. As it flies, hits the guy in the back of the head. The head separates from the body, and their driver is dead. I'm going to tell the rest of the bolts. See? That's what you're supposed to do. Just be like Adam. It's great. He did such a good job. Which one's Michael? Michael's the broken one. Michael Bolton's the broken one? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hussein. Huh? Like Hussein, Hussein Bolt. Bolt. Hussein, Hussein Bolt. Bolt. Hussein. <laughs> this is getting cut. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm totally cutting it. Yeah. Come on, bolt puns. Come on! <laughs> All right, fine. All right, so uh, Gary's Law is driverless and... <laughs> 
uh, veers off the ramp and heads down one level. Do they run over the person that we're dragging? They do. Okay. And he's dead. Okay. The remaining passenger on the chariot takes the reins. Well, throws the headless guy off the... Get out of the way! Takes the reins with one hand. Still has a javelin. Barely keeping it together on the lower la- lower platform. So he's all by himself on that yes. <laughs> chariot. Yes. <laughs> all right. Next round of action. How many how many Are, distances we may, go? May I ask a quick question? Yes. Are any of the other chariots uh, attacking each other? And, and are they making any progress? On the NPC chariots. The NPC chariots, uh, which is... Uh, one in six seem to be close. In the south eastern quadrant, we've got Turmeric attacking Skull Tip unsuccessfully. Turmeric? Turmeric. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's, it's spicy. And then on the northeastern part, a successful, yes, a successful javelin throw from Polyp of Pain attacking Kill Dongle. I like Removing one of his passengers. I like oh, Kill Dongle. Kill Dongle. I thought they were on the same team. No, they're two different colors. I mean, you guys are on a team. You don't know anything about uh, okay. the rest of them. It just has Maybe to be the last can. three oh, chairs. Oh, okay. So yeah. it just has to be three chairs. Okay, gotcha. All so right. It's sort of like a free for all mm. mm. until the end. All right, next round of action. Where do you guys want to be? Do we want to try and catch up to two and kill that one? <clears throat> Wait for me. Mm. It's whatever Toast Set wants. Where are we at? I asked. We could slow down enough for the other chariot to catch up to us. Uh, so you don't have to go the full two or four. Uh, that's just the amount you can go. So with a half move, you can go two or one. And a full double move or whatever, you can go four or three. Let's just go two. Two? This time. Dr- Merrick? Driver? Fail. After that chariot in the center. No, it sounds like he wants to go in the center. I want to go in the middle. Oh, you want to go in the middle. After the guy who's by himself on the chariot. He wants to take out three. Could he land his chariot on their chariot? Could, but that would sound like a really terrible idea. No, because um, like if if we'd like jumped it, <laughs> then we could all jump off and land on that chariot because it's nicer. And nicer. it has a bear. It's nicer, and there's mm-hmm. a bear. And the yes, end. Tosa. Tosa wants to set up a spike growth in front of chariot number two. Okay. So hopefully they run into it and possibly derails them. Right, There's the, a bunch of fucking spikes on the it's ground. It's 120 feet is your casting range? 150 feet. And okay, so that's within range, and you want to do a spike pit there? Or spike growth? Yeah, it's a 20-foot uh, okay. radius. 20 feet? Okay. How many times can you do that? A couple. Nice. Might be a good idea to wound the driver first, so it's not as easy for them to veer out of the way. They might be able to. I mean, or send them into the center where I... I was I was trying to put it, like, directly in front of them while they're moving. Boop. Yeah, they have their... Yeah, okay. That works. Because you're only doing the, the half move or yeah. whatever. So you're going to cast the spike growth. All right. And Merrick, you, uh, the chariot Huat, wants to go for it? Go into level two. Okay. And attack. Uh, what was that name of that chariot? Uh, Cherry Wind. Cherry Wind. Yes. All right. So you're going to attack. You are within range to one, two. All right. You can get right above it. And say, then they don't have cover, right? Because we're coming from above. Yeah. Technically, you'd have advantage. Sneak attack! Can you have Gar say do it now? Oh, I've been saying I've been saying the wrong one. Death. I have been attacking Cherry when not Gary's law. Yes. Well, Death from Gary's law. It shall remain though because we've yeah. been saying it. Just rename it. Gary slaw. Mmm. Cherry slaw. Mmm. Cherry slaw. I hate cherries. <laughs> You're a child. All right, Cherry and Huat, you're going to drive. Off the edge, and uh, are you gonna try and land on top of it, or no. right behind it, right behind next to it? it, right behind it? And I wanna, while so while we're above, okay, I'm gonna, we wanna shoot them As with above, our javelins. Death below, got it. So we don't, they don't have cover. You have that advantage. Mm-hmm. So, uh, driver, uh, maybe Gar can do dri- it now. I don't know. Do it now! Yes, yeah. get to the chopping. Maybe he throws an axe. Uh, he misses his axe throw. I crit twenty. All oh, right, you definitely my javelin throw you definitely hit. Um, at the at the, the, the lone dr- driver. The lone driver. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So we want to take that chariot. You absolutely hit. Uh, roll damage. Come on, baby. I got a five, so ten or no seven damage with my crit. Okay. With seven damage, you you threw a javelin, right? Mm-hmm. You throw your javelin, and it Ooh, strikes I, him in the yes. Retroactively say that was a divine smite. Is that a thing I can do? Or is it melee only? That's only melee. God damn it! 
All right, so uh, Chariot White, you heroically jump off the ledge after Cherry Gary's Law, Gary Wind, after Gary's Law, uh, and successfully pin the guy with a javelin right through his thigh, sticking him into the chariot. Yes, he's still got hands on the reins, or well, one hand on the reins, uh, and he's unable to really turn and throw anything at you now because you've pinned him up there. Doesn't feel very good, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. All right, so you are on the second level, and then we're going to get Death Wish, the kicks and Gam Gam and Rando one. But it killed old Rando. Not Rando. What's the save for entering into a spike growth? There is no save, and no it's save. camouflaged. It's camouflaged. Uh, mm -hmm. So they can roll a perception to see it, they but fail. they're going to roll into it anyway. They fail. So it's 2d4 for every five feet they move through it. Okay. Which would be the full. Which would be four. To be 84. Four 2d4s. 84. 84 damage. Two. All right, this was a blood flap. They uh, do not notice the spike growth. Charge directly into it. Their elk is impaled on spikes. The chariot <laughs> smashes into a halt, and the three people fly out. Thirteen? Three. Three. Uh, <laughs> three people. people. It's a clown car. What? One of the guys falls out and slides through the spike growth taking the same amount of damage, and he's dead. Impaled in various spikes that are camouflaged, I guess camo spikes. And the two other uh, fall off and are just lying on the ground at the moment. So, okay. Blood Flap is dead. How long do those spikes stay there? Uh, a minute. Or concentration. You might want to tell like ten, 10 minutes. Kicks to not go through it. So I don't know how to tell him. He doesn't speak. Can't I, can't I can. Yeah, okay. It's the scene from... Well, uh, I guess you'd have a big chair in Team America. Yeah. He's trying to, yeah. Doing the signal. All right, cool. Well, you can talk to Gam Gam. You guys try and wave wave them away. Well, there's a big chariot. I can't so see you it. Drive around it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he'll see the chariot. Yeah, yeah. he'll drive around it. I'm sure we could signal for them to move over. Whether or not they understand. It's a different thing. But yeah, that'll last ten minutes. Ten, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. As long as I uphold concentration. You could just... You how many times can you cast it? Uh, only once if I'm if I have concentration. But how many oh, slots so, uh, do you have? Okay. Is what he's, uh, two. So you couldn't just keep ca you couldn't cast it another time. Can, I, could, more times. I could recast it after ten minutes yeah, or after I lose mean. concentration. But you can just have, line the punch him in the track. back of the head. And we can <laughs> put, cast it again. <laughs> oh, that was not very nice. <laughs> it's a lizard donkey punch. <laughs> donkey lizard. <laughs> you what want to make an ass out of me? No, donkey I make an ass out of myself. Turn into a donkey. Oh. So we have a donkey fun. driving an elk. <laughs> <laughs> what is he gripping with? He's putting it under He's the wheel. Goes. Fence part. <laughs> Just imagine that driving by. <laughs> I don't think I could handle that. <laughs> like, I'm done. Well, no. No, even better, I'll turn into a spider. That way I can actually do stuff with the other legs yeah. and still drive. I a spider not. with a crossbow. <laughs> Two crossbows. <laughs> and as the action continues, we've got Gary's Law moving swiftly away from Chariot Huat. Not that swiftly. The continuing battle between Tumor Rick and Skulltip has concluded as Skulltip critically hits the chariot of Tumor Rick. Causing it to fall apart. And they die. Hooray. Blood for the blood guy. A swift battle between Kildongle and Polyp of Pain has left one member of Polyp of Pain's chariot dead on the fucking ground, and one of Kildongle's wheels is injured. Poor wheel. Gotta fix it. And then a quick bout between Zesty Evisceration and Cherry Wind leaves one of Zesty Evisceration's passengers dead on the ground. Two men and a baby. I'm gonna reel in my grappling about, hook. Nothing about blood flap. Can we see the um, Cherry the, Wind from where we are? Number three. Oh, blood flaps. Oh yeah, blood flap! Explodes into spikes! It was glorious! <laughs> Can we see Cherry Wind from where we are? Yeah. Yes. I'm just yeah, gonna, it's I'm Gary's on. Law now. Okay. Because we've been calling it that, and sure, okay. yeah. So I'm just gonna shoot a crossbow bolt at it. Okay. Don't you hurt my bears. I'm not shooting the bears. I'm shooting the driver. 
then you can take it or whatever. I'm gonna I'll reel in the grappling hook. I'm gonna reel in my grappling hook. Thirteen. For Gary's Law? Yep. Okay, it'll hit. Did you do a cold shot? No, I just shot at the dragon. It will hit. Um, Nine damage. All right, you hit the chariot wall, and it, it punctures the side. Okay. Merrick's going to be quite upset with you. I'm going to try to shoot the driver into the brain. Okay. I'm going to accept what that, says, what that was. Says the man tripping on mushrooms. Shoot. All right, shoot him in, into the brain. <laughs> shoot him into Usain, the brain. Usain, go to the brain. <laughs> I miss. Insane in you, the membrane. No, Usain in the membrane. <laughs> He says you missed you his brain. But did I hit anything else with a four? <laughs> no. You're too busy shouting Usain in the membrane. <laughs> it skids across the sand and falls into the pit. Usain in the membrane. Usain in the brain! All right, uh, Tosa, what bone. would you like to do as a move action? Uh, Tosa's going to keep moving. Four up, but on the opposite side of the spikes. Does somebody want to tell Kix not to run into well, the spikes? Well, he's gonna. I hope that Kix sees the cart. There's a big the, cart in the, the way. Cart in if the you, way. Yeah. If he'd drive around me. I could then yell to Kix. No, but I just can't. I can't see it. I can't hear you, Merrick. <laughs> like he's like a ghost talking in my brain. I have this. You too? Oh my god! Chariot, what? Great, great man. What would you like to do? Chase after Gary's law? Yeah. So chase after them, and then I'll I'll gar. I'll what? After I dispatch this, after we get alongside this man, jump over and grab that chariot. Mm, I, I think you're a bit leapier. I mean, we I, can both do it. Have you seen your legs? Aren't you the greatest at leaping? I, I am the greatest, but I don't want to take everything away from you, small All man. right, we'll do it on three. I'll just, okay. Just jumps right under the wheels. <laughs> Driver, you're with me. Driver understands and drives right next to him. Drives Drivier. Gary's Law Chariot. So then I, as like a <laughs> character, <laughs> would I get a, an attack and then a move? So I could I could attack and then jump onto the chariot? I think this would be an attack action and a move action. Mm-hmm. Since I'm stationary otherwise? Yeah. And our driver being a move and then a move action to jump? And how far away did you want driver to get to Gary's Law Chariot? As close as possible. <laughs> Give me a amount of feet. Two. Uh, with five. Uh, Alright. Uh, uh. So go ahead and attack. Alright. Gar, you should also attack. Well, maybe not. I got a, a 21 to hit with my javelin. That, that definitely hits. And I deal nine damage. Okay. Uh, you and Gar uh, throw javelin and hand axe at said driver of Gary's Law. The hand axe Hits him in the back and the javelin. Where would you like to to hit him? Oh, the throat. <laughs> hits him in the back. Ow! And then through the throat as he turns around to see what the fuck that was. Killing him! But he's, his leg is still pinned to yeah. the throat. Side, yep, right? he's killed. He's, he is slain with two javelins in him and a hand axe in his back. But he's just hanging. <laughs> Awkwardly. Awkwardly. <laughs> The reins are wrapped around one hand, and he's just a limp, dead, nice. propped-up body. So would you like to board the chair? Yes. Everyone right. jump now. All right. That'll be an athletics check. Do you want Driver to come with you? He knows. He's supposed to go. He's doing very good to stay on him by himself. Ooh. Five feet, huh? Right under the wheels. Uh, Twelve athletics. Quat. How'd Gar do? Uh, Gar leaps over magnificently, mm. like... He's the best the, jumper. I mean, he the is the greatest sleeper. Uh, driver does not. So, you got a 12. Yep. All right. Uh, I'll give you a reaction to grab onto Gar's hand as he sees you fall. Uh, you don't make it to the chariot. What kind of rolls that? <laughs> <laughs> athletics again? Um. Because it'd be a 14 for athletics. Let's go with, let's go with an athletics. All right. Sweet. I do All that. Right. All right, uh, you and Gar match scores with 14s and clasp hands, and he pulls you up. Driver takes a leap, gets his foot <laughs> caught in the chariot, falls into the ground, and gets trampled by the horses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, baby. Bye, Driver. And uh, Chariot Huat is now driverless and just roaming around. The light will guide them. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. 
Literally. All right. You should just convince the guy to be your new driver instead of killing him and then jump on his chair. He's... Yes, yeah. Raul. All right. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. Well, we and as... Uh, we can have Bernie's in. As the... Death Wish Chariot. And with the death of Driver and the acquisition of a brand new handy dandy fancy schmancy Bear Chariot. Bury it. We're going to take a break. Hey, it's me, your favorite neighborhood assassin, Nathan Klesansky. Haven't heard of me? Well, that's because you're not subscribed to patreon.com slash botch podcast. What are you waiting for? You get to hear my wonderful episode where a group of assassins try to go down to the Louisiana bayous to assassinate a senator. What could possibly go wrong? Let's listen to how they try to set up for this shit. Hold on. I'm going to need, you know, something no, for that. No, 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 no. I already gave you a coin for, this is the, the, this for is... Shudo. I'm talking to the same one. I thought the busboy left. You're talking to the bartender now. Oh, all right, yeah. All right. <laughs> no, so you're, you're the same guy, guy, man. Coin, you're the same guy. But give me that. Give me Just that. Just keep putting on a mustache. Give me that dossier. <laughs> different mustaches. Yeah, roll. roll I am a different guy. <laughs> coin. All right, I gave him a coin. I'm going to need a dossier. Okay. A, du- a dough. A duster. A seer. Surprising. Don't know how they're going to fail. You get those at $3 a month. $5 gets you early access to the episodes each week and into the Discord group. For $10 a month, you get to add whatever the fuck you want to the show to fuck with the players. If you can't afford any of those, that's fine. Dollar. I'll take a dollar. It's just a tip. I'm used to it. Huh? You know what I mean. So head on over to patreon.com slash botchpodcast and give what you can. And, uh, boy... Nothing good's gonna happen in the bayous, I'll tell you that much. See you next week, fuckos! And we're back! Alright, so uh, in the next round of action, you hear the gong from uh, the uh, big Kyrie up in the, up in the stands. And you hear the sounds of some pulleys, and you see that some things, some objects, uh, that seem to be weapons, are being pulley lever system ra- uh, ascend... They're- they're on the Being stands. brought up. They're up. <laughs> They're all the way. We're all the way up. From where? The From the, the, the tower things uh, right on the uh, east and west of the pit. So they're coming up the tower, or the tower is summoning them out of the middle of the pit? They're being raised out yes. of the pit. The okay. towers are more like cranes over. with pulleys. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. got it. And the, they, those objects started from the bottom of the pit, and now they are here in the center. <laughs> well, yeah. In the center of the pit? It's not a pit anymore. It's now a, a platform. It's still a pit. It's still a pit. It's still I thought a pit. it was under the platform. Under the platform. Oh, they, the cranes raise them up to the cranes themselves. There's under no the like platform. center platform. No. Gotcha. It's being risen up from. So these these under. weapons are being brought up from the pit and are held hanging from the crane towers. What kind of weapons uh, and, are they? Uh, well, you can't see. Yeah. Why couldn't I see? Well, I'm right there. It's not that far. Give me a perception check. Oh, oh, oh. Give me a perception check. Um, 19? That is good enough. Uh, <clears> they <throat> look like slightly larger javelins. Okay. Looks That's like you can spears, see right you say? <laughs> Not quite <clears throat> spears. Um, they've got a, uh, what would it be, like a glaive. So it's a larger blade. Trident. And mm. a shorter haft. Mm. Okay. It's got like some fins on them. Okay. Like dolphin fins? No, just like a like couple. A, like, like a gizarm? You're the, you're the only person down there. It's a there. two-handed weapon, isn't it? Yeah, it's more of a halberd. Pole axe. This is uh, throwing. You know, I mean, you could use it as a spear. You should probably get those, Merrick. I'm in position. He's driving. I was going to say. Yeah, because Gar's probably got a better strength for throwing javelins than I do. He's mm-hmm. the greatest. He's the greatest javelin. Although he's greatest. missed all of his, and I've hit Always all of his. Always throw very far. Well, you've been hit the moon. <laughs> Which moon? All of them. <laughs> Simultaneously. He speared them all together. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he shish kebabbed them. That's why it looks like there's only one moon now, because they're all stuck together. Yeah. In a line. And since the moon's flat, or the Earth's <laughs> flat, you can only ever see it from that one angle. Yeah. So. Good thing we don't live on Earth. Mm-hmm. It's all the same. Welcome to Earth, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so as the uh, Kyrie glaives are being lifted uh, or pulled out of the pit and hanging, uh, ready for people to uh, grab them, you see that uh, skull tip, this chariot here in the southeast quadrant the first one that was introduced other than you guys is making a beeline onto the lower level 
obviously trying to go for uh, the improved javelins. The one in the northmost, uh, the northmost chariot, Eat at Moe's, is also going to do the same. Eat your bros. Eat some hoes. Uh, well, the continuing doesn't. battle of Kill Dongol and Polyp of Pain, those chariots. Uh, <laughs> one of them whiffs javelins <clears throat> pretty terribly. The other one uh, critically fails. Previously, these descriptions were in announcer books. <laughs> It's got oh, yeah. you. The continuing battle between Kildongle and Polyp of Pain results in a whiff of a javelin and then a critical failure, wherein one of the passengers spears the driver of Kildongle, leaving it driverless as it veers down into the lower level. List lazily to the left. List lazily left, lads, like a languishing lizard. Say that again into the mic. List slang left word. Wait, what? List lazily. lazily left word. Like a languishing <laughs> lizard. Into the pit. Towards the pit. Uh, towards the pit. I was going to go say, more L words and it not, was. It was just not. It was losing. It was a losing. <laughs> lashing. Lasciviously. Uh, <laughs> I liked it better when Austin said left lords. Left lords. Lizard lord. Ah! Yeah! It's skull tip. The best and greatest chariot goes towards the javelins we've brought up. Don't those things look fine? Oh yeah, they've got wings, they've got blades. They're on sale. <laughs> at Lowe's. Eat at Moe's goes down to the lower level, also seeking the great improved javelins, while Zesty Evisceration and Cherry Wind duke it out, seeing who can succeed. And it is not Cherry Wind. <laughs> <laughs> As the last passenger... Well, the, the only person on Cherry Wind is now dead, and it's, uh, it looks like Zesty Evisceration is living up to its name. A Zesty Victory. All right, uh, two minute baby. What do you guys want to do? Make a beeline. Don't right. set. Make a beeline. Make a, Although make a we, beeline. If we stay up me. higher, we would always get advantage on attacks because we have a height advantage. One, no. Two. Yes. That's not how game mechanics work. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. No. If you hit. You look it up. I believe Don't he would know up. because he's been DMing for years. I yes, Raul. I have a question. How? Years. I have a, <coughs> I, I, yes, Raul. Six <laughs> beers. <laughs> Say that again. Six beers. <laughs> How many weapons are on each crane? Uh, there are two per crane. Two per crane. So we could go down and, and grab one and then leave one for Merrick's chariot. Uh, but well, there's there's Merrick's two chariots chariot. right next to it. No, I think they're already past it. They are uh, the two chariots that are near this. We don't have crane, to go in that the direction. Eastern chain uh, are Skull Tip and Kill Dongle, uh, but they are past the point where they can get to <coughs> the uh, the javelins. However, Merrick's chariot is going to grab both of those. <laughs> next round. Yeah, because we're there. Are you? Nope. You'll be right next to it. Whereas uh, Two Minute Baby can go uh, past and grab. Well, fuck you guys. I positioned myself for this, and now you're just going to steal it? No, we're not there yet. No, we're gonna, and we're, we're not even talking to you. Would you take care of us? So we can go down, one of you guys using. grab one, and then the other hits either one or four. We I could. I don't know their names. Skull Tip is one. Kill Dongle is four. You were also suggesting to whip this bitch around. And go can. clockwise, and then we can just <laughs> pick people off from up top. Spike growth. That's another right in front of them. That's or yeah, you, you could throw a spike growth down there, which might cover the whole path since it's a little bit tighter and smaller than than the upside. Down. Like a tiger. Tosa, I trust whatever you do. There's a bunch of cunts over there. It's pretty pretty lucid for you there. It's death wish. Death wish is uh, in the southeast. I come southwest. in and out. Death wish. Yeah. Uh, do you want to hop down and turn around? Or do you just want to turn around? I would hate to hop down and then turn around. Because then we're going to have to fight all four of them. Yes. That's so Merrick's job. Turn around. And then... I trust whatever you do, Merrick. I'm Merrick. Yeah. Do, do what you want, Merrick. Uh, I'm going to drop concentration on that spike growth and turn around. Okay. Uh, in order to turn the chariot around, you're going to have to really pull the reins of the elk, and that'll be a strength check. I was an 11 sound. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as you are turning uh, the chariot as hard as you can, you fail your uh, strength check. And run right into the wall. You just veer left instead. <clears throat> uh, no, you... Uh, so, which way were you turning? Were you turning to the left to turn around, or to the right? 
On your left right. is, the, uh, is the lower level, on the right is the wall. Who's gonna turn to the right? Alright, you hit the wall. You hit the wall, and your elk is slightly stunned, uh, and your chariot takes minor damage. Now our chariot's broken. It's not broken. And the it's elk taken minor toast, damage. Toast that drove into the wall while you were looking at the book. Do I take damage? Mm. Do I have an a-, a reaction? I mean, what would you like to do? <laughs> You're just gonna move him? In front of me. Right. <laughs> yep. Why you oh, you wanna do a strength? Him? Huh? You just duck behind him. I mean, what side of the chair? None of you guys you take on? damage when I'm you in get the back of the yeah, chair. You're just kind of jostled and you're yeah, shocked right. a little bit. What about the elks? The elk is uh, stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Insert elk noise. Yeah. <gasps> I mean, we could go get on that other chariot that just has a driver. No, the driver is dead. The driver is dead. The driver of dr- oh, and they already took it over. It's no, gonna take took, us. We no. took over the next one. It's that's not what I'm like talking about. The chariot you left there. behind just has yeah. a driver. And no, that's driver's it. Dead. no, driver's, driver's dead. dead. Oh, he's dead. It's okay. an empty chariot, and the elk are probably running free. Yeah, oh, that's what, right. what happened to that out. chariot, by the way? Well, um, Raul and Pablo, do you guys want to do anything? You're not really in range to do anything to anyone else. Really? Re- Pablo, you could inspire Toseth to drive better. I could. I could also put some javelins out and jab them in the ground, sort of like a trap, if somebody was dumb enough to run into it. I can cast Guidance on myself. And then you could inspire him for double awesome. A d6. Awesome. Well, awesome. Tosa, you already did your... Yeah, your, yeah but it's already, we're already in the wall. For the next round. All right, well, uh, then we're going to go over to uh, Merrick and Gar in Gary's Law. Uh, are, are you driving? Yes. Okay. I'm going to take the reins, okay. and Gar is going to be ready to grab those javelins. So we're going to double move up to one space away from the center javelin hanging thing. Uh, your previous chariot, chariot flat, driverless is just kind of just kind of ran a little bit next to the wall. Your previous chariot, the chariot flat, now that it's driverless, uh, the elk is just kind of running. But uh, you are very close to the uh, tower with javelins. You're just not quite there yet. Death wish is going to follow, it seems! I mean, that's all I can do. Unless, unless uh, Gar can throw something that far. What's the distance of the hand axe? 60, Probably 30, 60. 60. Something like that. But I do I do still have two javelins in my possession, because I had five. Well, do you want to have Gar throw a javelin? Gar, feel free to use my javelin. I will! Uh, he throws a javelin at skull tip, hitting one of its wheels, slowing its movement down. And that was number one. All right, next round of action. And they're going... Also, the same direct category. Everyone, everyone's okay. going in the same so direction. So they're not going to like charge us. Yeah, no. I mean, that, it doesn't seem like they do. Does our chariot take back off again, or? Well, next round of action, you're going to have to right the chariot. Uh, do you want to back up and go the same direction you were, or? We go clockwise. Okay. So I'm going to say, uh, if you do a double action, you can do half, uh, half of your four, your two spaces will be just you repositioning. Mm-hmm. So if you want to head back, uh, you can get. And we want to get close to the, the the lip, so we we're in range. All right, you guys. Uh, two men and a baby have two men and a baby have turned around. Looks like they're going to try and spook some people with being on the high ground. Didn't work out for Anakin. Maybe it'll work out for their enemies. Ch- chariot what? Ambling. <clears throat> Where are we? Um, who's three? That is the new chariot. That's the new one. Right. And then B is the dead the dead chariot. Dead yeah. chariot. Got it. So this um, is just the, the elk. And then kicks one to him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The exciting combat between Skulltip and Kildongle was interrupted when one of Skulltip's wheels was injured. Poor wheel. It'll never run. run, run. Roll again? It'll never roll again! Oh, not the same. It'll need a prosthetic spoke or something. I don't know. Because philosophically, if you repair the wheel so many times, it is no longer the it same. It is wheel. a different wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that the elf people know. Yeah. I'm not me. I was the new. I was me before, but now I'm something else. I've changed. Slightly. You look great. Thank you. Have you been taking vitamins? I've been eating all the mushrooms. Thank you, Wegman. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 
Wow. He's not even in charge. He just this is how he entertains himself. Mm-hmm. Like it's he's got a radio that's plugged into nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just really bad. It's it's kind of like the fat kid in Wet Hot American Summer. Mm, that's good. Donkey lips. <clears throat> and that's uh, salute your shorts. All right. So the continuing battle between Skeletip and Kittle Dongle. They throw javelins. They move. They're useless. For our own uh, edification. Yeah. How many chariots are left? So Five. Yeah. <laughs> That's not true. It's a math problem. Math puzzles. Yeah. It's a math, math problem. problem. No one likes math puzzles. Has Kix done anything? They moved they, down here. God damn it, Kix. <coughs> Be heroic. They have been within range. Of anything. And we keep killing God's everything. Sakes live. What's the distance of the hole in the middle? From from end to end, Deep end black. to end, so, like north to south. Is it a circle or an oval? It's a more of an oval. Okay, a um, Mormon oval. A, a, what? A Mormon oval? <laughs> yeah, you don't know what a Mormon oval is. Uh, is it a sex move? Enlighten him, Merrick. It's a sex move. It's a sex <laughs> move. <Okay. laughs> All right, thank you, Merrick. It's when they have sex through a donut. Father. Yes. Yes. Just distance between um, north and south of the the Mormon hole. Probably around uh, 160 feet. Okay, so not enough distance to throw a javelin, but enough distance to shoot a bow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. With sure. disadvantage. Sure. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I'm great with disadvantages. It looks like Zesty Evisceration is going in for a javelin. Let's see if they get one. They do! Yeah, 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 yeah. And so does Eat It Moe's. Zesty evisceration with their newfound javelin strikes towards Deathwish and the small goblin creature and Gam Gam and who gives a shit the third passenger. The javelin flies true swiftly and into the wall over here on the south side of the lip of the ledge of the arena. South side. South central. Kicks and then might be able to get it. No, I mean, I don't. I've think, got a plan for kicks. I don't think they have the strength to get it out of the wall. Gam Gam? She's been working out. She's more of like a vicious mockery kind of person mm. than a, you know... You never call. <laughs> Eight damage. <laughs> you stopped writing me letters for my birthday. Four damage. Where are my I, grandchildren? K.O. <laughs> Where are my grandchildren? I should just go out into the world and die. <laughs> <laughs> Critical hit. I assume we're just going to keep going in the direction we're going. Mm-hmm. What, into okay. the wall? <laughs> it's not the direction we're going. No, they, they've, they've spun around at this point. No. My bad. Idiot. Solid joke. Because then when we do our <laughs> movement... <laughs> All right, two men and a baby, how far would you like to move? And you could actually take the ramp down and go like that, or you can go around, or however you want to do it. I feel like four, if we stay on the outside... Four spaces. And you're going to stay up at the top? Yeah. Okay. You might be able to hit... Uh, yeah, seven. seven yeah. Number seven. <laughs> yeah, you're within range. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to go first? I'm gonna shoot a crossbow. Should I shoot the animal or the driver? Or? The animal. Should I do the animal or the driver? I mean, if you if wreck their there is of a, transportation, there's yeah. one driver, one passenger. On that's zesty evisceration. I, I oh, should do the animal because if the animal just stops, they could fall into the pit. Or if you kill the passenger, then they all have as a driver and they can't do shit. It's a crash into stuff. Aggressively. I'll shoot the driver. God damn with the ones. I mean, I got a 18, but I rolled for one damage, so two damage. Oh shit, I forgot one. My attack modifiers are such garbage. You're garbage. Hit it. All right, sorry, can you say that again? I uh, rolled an 18 and hit for two damage on the driver. You definitely hit um, with a crossbow. Yes. All right, you peg him in the arm, but it's not enough to lose the arm. Or the he just kind of flexes and kisses the crossbow coming out of his <laughs> bicep. And, and the bolt giggles. Uh, all right, <laughs> roll. 20. That'll hit. Nine damage to the driver. The driver, and that's with your heavy crossbow? It is. Kuthunk, where would you like to kill him? As he's kissing the bicep, it comes through his bicep again and spears him through the brain. He was kissing his bicep. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna. I'm, I'm aiming as that as like a, a meaty part to hit. Okay. And it goes through his bicep. Now, do you hit the first bolt and it pushes that through <laughs> it, his face? Yeah. All right. And, you know, 
All right, so concussion he, damage. He's kind of flexing, you know, like that first crossbow bolt didn't do shit. <laughs> and then the <laughs> second one hits the first one, like uh, um, Robin Hood, Prince and uh, uh, Men in Tights. Prince of Tights. Prince of Thieves. Prince no, of Thieves. Men of Men in Tights. Men in tights. I mean, he hit the arrow. Robin Hood. Both Robin movies. It doesn't matter. All right, whatever. every every Robin good Robin Hood story or Green Arrow story, if you're an asshole, uh, he he hits the arrow itself, and that shoves through the, the driver's face flesh into his mouth and then pierces into uh, his spinal cord. Does that then cause him to veer off into the goatsy hole? Uh, so the driver, the now deceased driver of Zesty Evisceration, uh, as, a, uh, as a little spasm in death, uh, does drive the chariot into the, into the goatsy hole. And then I'm going to... Um... An amazing shot from... Two men and a baby. The first bolt, little aim. The second one, very impressive. Sending zesty evisceration to a swift and painful death in the pit, the goatsy hole. I'm going to then Tuscan Raider with my, my heavy bolt. Perform- performance. <laughs> <coughs> oh, fuck me. Uh, it's a 20. <laughs> All right, uh, the the crowd goes wild, and they see from your example of the Tuscan Raider, and they each all pick up a burning stick or a baby or just a burning a severed hand, uh, and, and it's fucking great. They love it. They're having a great time. And then I explain to my bolts like, you guys are doing great. You guys are wonderful, except for you. You're still a dick. But you know, we'll see. But good job, guys. You guys are doing great. And then I kiss each one on the lips. They don't have lips. They got lips. Oh god. You are not German. And now, because I'm talking to you out of game. I am in character. They all have lips. You're drunk all of a sudden. I'm, I'm on no, mushrooms, high. you jack bitch. Oh, I don't know. All right. I've been on mushrooms for two and a half episodes. Merrick right? White. What would Gary's uh, Law like to do? Drive well. We're no longer Gary's Law because what's the name of the chariot? Yeah. Did you want to rename it? You're gonna have to inform the announcer. <laughs> and then also <laughs> to call it Barry. We're now Merrick Slaw. Slight adi- slight change, everyone. Gary's Law is now going by Merrick Slaw. <laughs> it's spicy, but also mayonnaise based. It comes out the same way it comes in. <laughs> Spicy and manacy. Ready to do battle. And full of seasoning. Um, I'll just drive. I'll double move forward since I'm driving. And have Gar grab the jet. As many jet. Sorry. Tri- I want to go three spaces. So I'm right behind one and four. Whoever those chariots are. And you want you want uh, Gar to grab Gar them? Gar to grab those javelins. Javelins? Both, Both of them. them. All right. Gets the first one. Misses the second. All right, and then I, Gar. Oh yeah, what the? What should throw I use? that javelin. Oh, how would you like me to throw it? Uh, what are the two chariots in front of us? Uh, it is Skull Tip, which has a uh, it, uh, injured wheel, but a full party mm-hmm. on top, and Kill Dongle that just has a driver. Yeah, Merrick, kill that driver. You mean Gar? He you're says Merrick. to himself. Yeah, but you're Merrick. Merrick. You're Merrick. <laughs> Merrick, tell Gar <laughs> to kill the driver of the full chariot. Oh, I think I get what they're doing. Gar, tell Merrick to tell Gar to throw it at that chariot. Yes, you are very bright. I will throw. With the light. He Dem- throws. Dementia. Uh, w- wait, which one did you want to throw? The full chariot's driver. Okay. Well, he critically hits. Yes. His dementia's he getting worse. Explodes. Meat it's chunks. the natty light. It's Star- What's the Starbucks? Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your picture. Starbucks on top of all your natty lights. King and, and the cast player. <laughs> Another <laughs> layer, yeah. And then your Starbucks. The damaged man from Merrick Slaw hefts the fantastically erotic javelin directly into the spinal column of the driver of Skull Tip. He's so dead. <laughs> His body flops off. And Raven. Oh, what was I supposed to tell Kicks? His body sloughs off. Oh. Too Pick up now. the other javelin. <laughs> Kicks? Uh, yeah? Pick up that javelin. Okay! Your previous chariot is ambling, just, just running around in circles all over the place. <laughs> it's now next to the ledge. Lovely. Uh, Kicks is not quite close enough to get to 
the other erotic javelin. Typical um, kicks. And the and the the great fight between Skulltip and Killdongle. I, it, just, it just won't end. I don't know why they won't just fucking succeed in killing each other. They succeed in killing one of them. <laughs> Skulltip, driverless. One of the passengers takes the reins. The other one hefts a regular javelin. Not erotic, just boring. At the only member of Kill Dongle, killing him. And one of the only other ones, a polyp of pain, exaggeratingly dancing its way across the top level. Merrick, you should probably take that ramp. Next round of action. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start with, uh, let's go with two minute a baby. You uh, guys I think, are. I think we're gonna move forward four, or clockwise four mm -hmm. spaces. So okay. we're moving from the south into the southwest. West. Yeah. South west. Southwest. From the south to the southwest. We're with East Waterwick. <laughs> Fire of a Filthier And would the you guys uh, like to do anything with that? You look to be in range of Eat It Moe's. Pavel will shoot at the driver of Eat It Moe's. Okay. It is a full compliment. They have not lost it. Twelve. You throw the javelin. No, crossbow. You shoot, you throw the crossbow. <laughs> Let's just yeah. throw it. Ah. Fuck it. Uh, you shoot your crossbow and miss. Alrighty. Roll. I too will try for the driver at Moe's. Kathunk. Go for it. Uh, that is a minus two. So, 22. Uh, that's gonna miss. Okay. Not yet. I do nine damage. Ooh. One plus. You do an extra eight damage mm -hmm. with crossbows? Yep. Because I am an archer. It's plus two to damage, not to hit. Right. Yeah. He's rolling damage. Yeah. One. But where's your plus eight? Uh, plus eight to hit? No. Two, damage. four, six. No, you don't add proficiency to damage. No, uh -oh. you do not. Have you been doing that this whole time? No, definitely not through the all, all three right, so seasons. so you, you take six. You deal six uh, he rolled a one. Nine minus two is six. Oh, you know what it is? Okay. So, yeah, I do two. It should four. just be plus your dex. Plus his Modifier. two for archer. So. Oh, you get a pl uh, okay. Plus two to damage for archer. Uh, okay. Five damage. Yeah. Five. Okay. I was, gonna say, I was like, Damn, uh, you kathunk your heavy crossbow towards the driver of Edith Moe's. And you hit him in the chest. Ugh, he reels back. Still keeps his hands on the reins. All right. Okay. I uh, miss the reins. All right. Um, Merrick Slaw, what would you like to accomplish this, this round? We'll be changing our name to Down in Africa. All right. Down in Africa. No. Nope. Slight change nope. again. Nope. No longer. Because <laughs> he said, miss the reins. Uh... A rock panther. Where am I? Uh, Merrick Slaw is up in the northeast. All right. On the inside, sir. You are within range to probably hit. Uh, yeah. Skull so tip. let's uh, move one. Okay. And attack, and then mm -hmm. also try to get. So since I'm moving one, I'm expecting kicks to catch up at some point. Did he grab the javelin? Or grandma. Game, game, game. Got the javelin. Mm-hmm. This is for forgetting my birthday. Put me in the home, will you? I'll put you in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Gar attack. Okay. Gar, kill that man. I will. I will kill him. Let's get a hit. They put one of ours in the home. We put one of theirs in the. Home. <laughs> <laughs> no, in the fucking log. They send one of ours to the chariots. We send one of theirs to the pit. Gar hucks a hand axe towards skull tip. And it hits damaged wheel. Which is on the outside of the pit. Which is on uh, its right, so towards the ramp and the wall. Opposite side of the pit. Yeah, the opposite pit, side of the pit. Which we're traveling around in a counterclockwise motion. And it's going to run into the wall. Take that, Dungus. <laughs> Skull tip has a bit of a problematic turn. Their wheel is broken. And they've hit the wall. Well thrown, Merrick Slaw! Yes, it was Merrick's throw <laughs> the entire time. And then Stump champion Merrick! <laughs> uh, kicks, uh, Death Wish is not close enough to hit anybody. Your old chariot, Chariot Huat, runs straight into the pit. Oh. It's a dead elk. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't know that. It's, it's a, it's a, maybe it's, it's survived. Could be filled with pillows. <laughs> Cotton balls. Foam. with fucking figgy pudding. Nobody ever thinks to go in the pit. It's a foam pit. Yeah. 
A ball pit. The polyp of pain speeds around the outside, round the outside, round the outside, and throws a javelin towards Skulltip as it's parked precariously against the precipice of punctualization and and I, I feel like he's trying to. Yeah. I'm really trying too hard. Uh, and he misses. So all right, that's great. Does the pit just make you on time? It's punctual. The pit of punctualization. Yeah. <laughs> To your death! <laughs> yeah. You're right on time. To die. To, to do Time to die. Eat it, Moe's. <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> Missing. They tried to get the spear they threw into the wall, and they failed. So. It's a wonderful sponsorship. Spear in the wall? Right back yeah. to the next round of action. Two minute baby. What would you guys like to do? Keep whoa, on. Keep whoa. on. All four? All four. Damn. Down on all fours. You are not in range to really do anything. With a crossbow? Heavy? It's a heavy crossbow. 200 feet? I'm going to ready an attack. I think it's 200. Okay. Uh, I mean, I've, that'll be the last one to move, and if you guys want to ready attacks, yeah, it'll be in range. Yeah. No. <laughs> I will ready my shot. Pavel and Raul have readied attacks as Toset leads them towards you, victory. You could shoot 10 spaces ahead of you. With disadvantage, if I didn't do it, I would have hit. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so um, Merrick's law. Six one nine. is, you when you go past one, you could take a take a throw. Well, we're we're down to one javelin though is the problem. You guys don't have any range weapons. I have one javelin left. He other, threw the other. Oh no, he he grabbed one. I have sorry, I have two javelins left. Yeah, and he threw the special javelin. And he's got how many? God knows how many axes. I've got a million of them. <laughs> So three of us. Endless, endless right. axes. You Gar, as we, as we pass... I mean, there's only two chariots left. Skull tip. Gar, as we pass skull tip, fire your axes. I guess one and then... Take the reins and I'll throw a javelin at... Number five. Alright, so if you're gonna do that, uh, you'll be able to get... One, two... Here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're He'll right. throw an axe, and then you can throw a javelin. What if... Yeah, okay. You wanna do that? Yeah. Okay. Because I still don't want to get too... What, can we go to the just one square ahead? Yeah. And then also hit them so that I give Kix more time to speed, catch us so that he can jump on and abandon his chariot and be one of the remaining chariots That's so fine. that Kix survives because he's my baby. That's fine. Yeah, I'm going to do that. He's right. my baby. All right, so you're going to do... Uh, whoa, whoa. He's half my of one move. The half of one move and then take a throw each. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Gar's axe. Whiffs. God damn it, guy like this. Get a whatever 19 plus 5, 24 to that, hit. Yes, that'll hit. And I'll deal. Did you want to hit uh, a specific thing? There's just one guy, right? It's two guys. Yeah. And yeah. one cup. Two gonna, guys, one wheel. Just want to hit one one guy. All right. Fun guy. Some young guy. For minimum damage of four. <laughs> Merrick's law swiftly heads past the skull tip. Sending scything signals of slaying towards them. God, I need a new job. It's not your job. You just do this for fun. I, like us. No, no, I, I, I'm paid. I definitely get paid. Yes, you're a podcaster. I, I'm the rock god of pod. All right, uh, skull tip is going to try and back up. And they're not going to go anywhere. Uh, next up, we've got Polyp of Pain. They're gonna go around the outside, on the outside. Right in front of Two Men and a Baby. Pavel, Rill, would you guys like to attack? Yep. They are also going to get a chance to attack. Okay. Driver. 17. That'll hit. And 9 damage. <laughs> Polyp yep. of yep. Pain's driver takes significant damage, but he's still standing. One hand on the reins. I'm going after him. The other one, the the slightly sexy elf is going now. Mm, yeah. So a nineteen to hit him. Mm-hmm. You do. And then seven. I'm I'm using my Colossus Slayer. Okay. So that's plus eight, okay. plus two. So uh -huh. I did seventeen damage that's to a, him. Plus a D eight, not eight. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That'd be way OP. Okay. Yeah. You're right. So, I do 12 damage to him. With your heavy crossbow? Yep. Holy shit! That guy exploded when he shot him! 
uh, and the, the crowd echoes. <laughs> the passenger on uh, Polyp of Pain watches as his friend explodes and uh, in retaliation throws a javelin. Uh, with my Tusken Raider, I got a crit 20. Ooh, the crowd goes fucking crazy. Yeah, they go, they go bananas. They're throwing things. Uh, they're throwing people now. They're setting <laughs> things on fire. Take my like, take, you take my baby! And swings it into the yeah. pit. <laughs> yeah, just, just into the pit. Well, yeah. it's so exciting to try to throw it at, at the combat. But Throws it's like, it, like 250 feet into the pit. <laughs> Could, could I it just, like a rock. as it's in the air, just make a shot at it? <laughs> I'll give you the, yeah, sure. Right. I'll give you that. Is it injured? It is a wholly healthy baby. Okay. Holy. I miss. Unless, uh, a... Two, four, six. A twelve? Well, I feel like unarmored babies... But it's moving, ...have a so. low AC, but we already talked, we already talked, there's no rules about hitting things in motion. Because when you shoot it, it is no longer technically in motion. You're hitting it then, and then there's the round Because it's all turn-based. So are you trying to catch I mean, it's a baby a or shoot target, a target, so it probably has an AC of yeah. like 12. And how much damage do you do? Uh, two, four, eight. <laughs> Who do we appreciate? <laughs> uh, you, you skewer the baby with a, like, the thing's right above you. You angle your crossbow and thunk straight up. Shooting the baby. Its trajectory was going from the uh, western side of the stands into the pit. And right as it crosses above you, you shoot it directly up. And it pins to the ceiling. (laughs) Are there any any babies that will, like, I could possibly catch in the air? It was just that baby. Just that fun baby? It was an excited parent who wanted their child to be a part of the action. Man, now I botched a yell. She throw out your babies. She said it in a kind of creepy way. <laughs> yeah. I want. There was something really funny I wanted to do with the baby. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> no, Pavel. Remember, it's it's those noisemakers. The urges that we <laughs> tamp down on ourselves that make us men. So when you critically failed to uh, have them throw their babies, <laughs> they started throwing javelins. <laughs> uh, they threw, and it, somehow they threw a bonfire at you. Okay. I don't know. All right. I just I don't. I don't okay. Know. It's, it's what oh, thanks. On the crit, I rolled a one. So mm-hmm. they threw a bonfire, and it's coming at uh, your chariot. They dumped a cauldron of burning. It's a long throw too. At the chariot. Yeah, retcon. Um, instead of a bonfire, let's just do a, well, the cauldron. Makes more sense because it's difficult to actually hold a fire. I guess fire pit. Not if it's in a giant sling. All the burning. <laughs> every just have it every bonfire is attached to a trebuchet. Yeah. <laughs> this is a place of chaos. I mean, yeah. anything's possible. All right, so retcon. Uh, as you fail, so just Horribly. just terrifically to have people throw their babies to you. Uh, one of the uh, one of the little food vendors vendors there uh, sure. gets really amped up and goes, "Yeah, my baby!" <laughs> and whips his cauldron at you. And so that's currently flying towards uh, your chariot. Two men and a baby. Tosa will give you a reaction to try and get out of the way. Let's get a vocal what, for that. What roll do you want? Uh, that will be a strength check. Yeah, it's gonna fail. Get a vocal for that crit fail. Yeah, my name's Jad <laughs> from Subway. Throw me your baby. <laughs> I got a six. Yes, you fail. Uh, the cauldron lands right in front of your elk, and it runs over it. Breaking all its legs. <laughs> <laughs> well, saves us the trouble. Don't break my elk. But <laughs> <laughs> you break your elk. <laughs> I just don't think he can jump cauldrons. <laughs> No, he gets his hoof stuff in it. Because if stuck you in break it. his legs. And then he's just... He has to walk with it. <laughs> he gets his hoof stuff in it. So the elk uh, runs directly into the cauldron, and it lands on its head, <laughs> smacking it oh. right into the ground. Uh, <laughs> each of you on the chariot, uh, I'll give you a... Deck save? Deck save to jump safely, or a strength save to not be thrown from the chariot. 21. That For one? what? I save. Uh, what would you like to do? Dex or strength? 
Dex. Dex. Yeah. All right. You, uh, Raul leaps from the chariot and lands safely on the ground. Well, here's my question. They're coming at us, right? Uh-huh. Bro. Could I Dex jump from my f- broken chariot onto theirs since... Moment. All right, so we'll do that. So you successfully jump off of your chariot towards the other one. Now give me an athletics check to see if you make it onto their chariot. Fifteen? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Successful. You make it right under their chariot. So you land on the chariot where there's just a guy. <laughs> ah! Uh, would he have attack of opportunity on me? He's driving. Oh. Yeah. He's on the road. road. <laughs> did I, did ah! I did I land behind him? You landed behind him. Okay. Take your shit on his chest. Pavel? 16 uh, decks. That is successful to be able to get off. Do you want to just land on the ground? You, how far down is the drop from the wall? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, you're just a few feet away from it. I mean, how far... Like, would I take fall damage um, from one level to the next? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say yeah, probably. All right, so I'm just going to go for the ground then. All right, so you successfully jump off of the chariot and <laughs> tumble safely on the ground. I hear I'll feed the same. Uh, 12. 12. Okay. Dex. For Dex. Um, your foot gets caught in the side of the chariot, and you fall to the ground. Makes uh, sense. You don't fall off the side, and you take one damage. Ow. As a... <laughs> oh. You're a little winded now. A little whinging. A little whinging. A little whingy. Uh, Minge. Merrick, Merrick's Law? Um, so if I go one space, Cakes can catch up with me. Mm-hmm. All right. I drive one space forward. Okay. Two spaces back. urge Gar to throw his axes at the people on the chariot to our right. Skull tip. Skull tip. Okay. Just a tip, though. He hits and deals enough damage to kill one of the guys. One of the guys on the skull tip is dead. And I'll throw my last javelin. Okay. Final, final skull guy. tipper right. for 11 to hit. That... Will not hit. And there goes my last jab. Okay. Gix? Uh, yes, Death Wish has uh, come up right next to your chariot. Do you want them to stop? I want Kix to jump on board. Okay. Pop on pop. Because we're speaking mm-hmm. a different language. He hands the reins over to the random guy and does a leap and just tumbles onto your chariot. Nice. Good boy. Fucking successfully. God damn it, Kix. Are you going to put him on your shoulder like a parrot? He's going to take the reins. He's been good at driving so far, so mm. it's not a, not a bad call. Yeah. Ram them, Grandma. Eat at Moe's. Skull tip. Let's see if they do anything. They do nothing. They're one man alive. Uh, ah! and he says. Polyp of pain, the guy driving, will avoid the wreck of your chariot. So now he's right behind it. Okay. So what are we down to? Four chariots now? S- so where are these two on the map? Five are chariots. They, are they right? Is Where is... Pavel and Tosa. If you can put them in the same spot as the chariot. So right next yeah. to the wrecked chariot. No. Yeah. P and T. Okay. Yeah, right next to the wrecked chariot. Um, is the chariot wrecked or is the elk wrecked? Uh, the elk is dead and the chariot is pretty much wrecked. Okay. Um, Pavel is going to start running towards that spear that's in the wall. On yeah. the south side. Yeah. Okay. On the on the chariot. Mm. The yeah. lower the, south, you go the like lower south side. Like yeah. One space. Remove yep. as a person. Yep. <laughs> I mean, what else am I going to do? It's going to run away from me. Wait, like, wait till Grandma shows up with her chariot and then jump down on the lower level into her chariot? That would be the best. Is a smart thing to do. But that's what Toset's going to do because he's yeah. a smarter player. It's fine. There's not going to be room for all well, of us. Well, I mean, right? you're, he's moving in the right direction already, so it's sure. fine. He'll adjust his move. But can two more people fit on Grandma's chariot? <laughs> <sighs> There's oh yeah, Grandma and the random. and Rando. So all you need to do is get rid of Rando, and you're good. Okay. <laughs> so are you jumping down right away and then running, or are you running on the upper level running. and then just gonna I was jump gonna run down? Run and then jump down. Okay. What's your move speed? Thirty. Yeah. And if you do a double move, it's sixty. Sixty. So you, yeah. can get... so you can move one and a half spaces. Yeah. Which so. is perfect because. So wait, I ran. So in this, so then the cherry can then. Ideally, run me over. The chariot went around the wreckage. Yeah. And you ran all at the same time. <laughs> so he's alongside the chariot. <laughs> so it's it's uh, it's coming towards you. You're in front of the chariot. You are so, so fast, Bobble. <laughs> so I ran around a chariot. St- okay. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, you were, forward like, you were as considered you here, so you yeah. This way. <clears throat> okay. You jumped off before it crashed. Like you knew it was yeah. crashing. With you hopped momentum. off. Okay. And then ran. Okay. So, what's up, Tosa? Physics. Don't. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> There's no physics. <laughs> I'm trying to see how many are left. Four? Five. One, two, four, five. But the only one we have to worry about is five, one, and nine. Mm hmm. Because we have players on everyone else. Well, technically. Because you only need three chariots, right? It's the last three chariots. Yeah. So I could We're throw down out a the spike growth right in front of five. <coughs> no, please don't. Rolls on He's that on that. One. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, no, rolls on it. I could. Nine's fully uh, manned, so whenever well, he comes back around. Nine is far away. I said when he comes back around. And one's pretty damaged. It's not even moving, right? The wheels broke. Is it our turn? It's our turn, right? Yeah, Bobble just went. went. You're on. Uh, I'm gonna pull up of pain, but Tosa, what would you like to do first? I'm gonna wait and see what Raul does. Okay. I'm literally behind a dude. Yeah. Mm. What's he doing? He's, he's driving the chariot. I'm gonna just fucking drive my short sword into his spine. Okay. Like... Attack? I'm gonna... See, alright. Um, one, two, three. I'm counting his vertebrae. One, two, one, three. Four. Whoa, what are you doing, man? No, 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 don't worry. Dude, what the fuck? And then I'm gonna drive it into his... Middle of his spine... Okay. ...to paralyze him. Alright. And hopefully... Uh, like, like, shoulder blades, because I want my sword to pierce his spine and come through his heart. Yeah. It's yes, just like solar this. plexus. It's your heart's not here. No, you want your, the, Come out of the solar plexus. It's, that's that's your boob. You, you're no. on the wrong side. It's, it's right here. It's pretty much no. in the center. It's it's in the center. Do you not know that the heart's in your in the center no, of your no, body? No, this is where my brain is. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> that's your liver. This is where my brain is. Uh, since I am behind him and he's defenseless. Do I get, I don't know, advantage, advantage maybe? I'll give you advantage on the first strike. Alright. Showing Claude Van Damme, first strike. 16. That'll hit. And then I do 4 damage to his spine. I mean, he's not dead. He's got a sword in his back. <laughs> he shits himself. Oops. Humans Part smell of the same anyway. Weak knees. Has a seizure. Just Hands jerks sweaty. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. Yeah. Is that what he says, or is that what I think he That's says? That's what you think he yeah. says. <laughs> I don't like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> You're a child. I'm gonna eat you. Alright, so that's that's that action. Next up we got Merrick Slaw. Do you guys wanna do anything else? I've got do case. anything at all? Toset's gonna mm. stay where he is. Yeah, yeah you skipped over Toset. <laughs> Oh yeah, Tosa, what do you want to do? Uh, Tosa's gonna grab his shield out of the broken chariot. Okay. And then attempt to huck a javelin at the driver. Okay. Of numero Call five. Of Go for it. Come on, botch. The 19. That'll hit. Whizzes right past Raoul's head. For four damage. Alright. The polyp of pain driver is nearing death. I bear hug him. Pushing my sword deeper into him. It doesn't do any more damage. And it's not it's your turn. It's not your turn. <laughs> All right, Merrick's Law. One, Which seven. one's number nine? <laughs> that is Eat at Moe's, and it's right there. But the eastern I guess side. I'm just going to double move forward. And uh, as we leave number one's range, have uh, Gar throw an axe at the last guy. Hits. And just for brevity's sake, he's dead. Maximum damage. Maximum damage. Maximum damage, you say. So Skull tip is out of the race. Cause they're dead. Cause the tip of their skull is covered in axes. <laughs> Fool of axes. Fool of axes, band. Let me ask you a question. I can't. You're dead. Full of axes is my band. It's thirteen guitar players. <laughs> All playing at once. All playing... Different styles of music. <laughs> Metallica. Different genres, too. Yeah, different Different styles. genres of Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> five. So we're down to four. Yeah. Does uh, five, I guess, moves up as well, right? Mm -hmm. Right over Pavel. Does it hit Pavel? It's going to try. When I do a deck save? You also can try. 
Can I try to steer the driver by turning my sword different directions? <laughs> just not... ratatouille him? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not how that works. I'm gonna try. That's not how any of this works. I'm gonna try. <laughs> da, 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 da. What would this be? Uh, sleight of hand? Sure. Sure. Uh, Dax. 17. Somehow it works. All right. How would you like to steer him? Right into Pavel. <laughs> right into Pavel? All right. Well, he fucked up his steering because he has no feeling in his legs and one arm, apparently. And he's just like, oh! And then you, oh! So he was going to miss Pavel. Pa- Pavel. And now he's going in. So Pavel, how would you like? Deck safe. You know, deck safe. But Pavel doesn't know I'm doing this. He just sees it the driver. With an eight. Yeah, stealth. I mean, stealth roll, right? <laughs> Uh, that is unsuccessful. I guarantee if I, there was a Dread thing, I would be watching behind me as I run. <laughs> Not noticing. <laughs> I mean, maybe for 20 you could tell. Even still, I, I'd be watching running. it. Okay. I'm going to stealth it with a 20. I'd still be watching so it. So fucked. <laughs> you can't see what he's doing with his hands behind a dead man, though. I could see what a cart where a cart's going. To see that it doesn't run into me. You don't know that it's round. Yeah, it's a good thing there aren't any carts. It doesn't... Whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> Donkey carts. I still got an 8 for a deck save, so... Yeah, so you saw me. it coming at you. You dive to the side and miss the elk. But the chariot the itself chariot smacks so you in the face. Okay. And you take 6 damage. That's not bad. BAM! That's your cat. What happened to Cat? He's dead. He didn't Stop. take... I didn't no, true. I remember that. I did not stab him. I give him a little you cut. D- you didn't. I, I stealthed a twenty to say that to you, so you didn't hear it. <laughs> Perception crit twenty. No, that's can't right. roll anything above a nine. So you all you're just time. saying is Ow! it doesn't matter what dice it is. They're all next round of action. I'm trying to save you, Pablo. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I say in Elvish. You keep using this word. I don't think you know what it means. <laughs> All right, uh, Friend. Raul, puppet master of uh, Polyp of Pain. Mail lock. Do you want to coup de gras this motherfucker? Yeah. Right. Don't roll a one. Advantage on deck grace, and I got a five and a six. <laughs> it's awful. I did not roll a one. All right. I want to uh, unzip his spine put, upwards. Put all my. St- st- I want to put all my weight on the hilt okay. and push it down. All right. So the sword kind of like comes up. Do a strength check for me, then. With advantage. It's very sharp. Pete Sharp. <laughs> Rolled the exact same thing. 14. All right, uh, you press down and it, you get some resistance, and then you're like, fuck this! And you jump up, and like, Ooh! and then it just slides all the way down through his spine, cutting him in half, breaking physics and bones. But I don't want the body to slump off. I want to save the. That, I mean, the top half of him is pretty whole. But it's like, just, I don't. The bottom I, half is a little floppy. That's fine. I just don't want it. I'm gonna try to like keep it on the chariot. All right. Like, I don't want it to just limply. Fall well, I mean, off he's still back. attached. He's still got the reins. Well, in I'm his gonna hands. take he's the just... reins over. All right. So you have a dead body in the chariot. In the chariot. Yeah. So you, you all right? Slice from the gut down. Paul, what would what would you like to do? I would like to keep running towards the the javelin. I suppose. You could you could probably. Can he hop onto my... Oh, I can. Okay, then I'll just hop After it runs him over, he can yeah. grab onto it. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> that, that, okay. Well, the cherry could hit him, right? The cherry hits him. Cherry hits him. And then he could throw a hand up <sighs> to try to get on. Reaches onto. and grabs it. That'd be like a dex or something. Athletics. 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 Pretty high. Yeah. I don't. With advantage. <laughs> Every dice. Is this dice jail? Just everything six. <laughs> just six, 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 six. Mm. Mm. It doesn't matter. Try it real quick. <laughs> Oh, six. Yeah. No, I got what? 15. <laughs> like, fuck! I don't least. grab it. And so I'll just keep running towards the jail. Okay. It's the yeast of your problems. You know what? Instead, I'm going to hold action until the chariot goes away and then run. Because <laughs> running from <that> fucking <laughs> physics. <laughs> Hard to dare. <It's> stupid. Hard. <laughs> it's so dumb. Toss it. Toss it. Is... You're on the ground, aren't you? I'm still over there. Yeah. Uh, Tosa's gonna jump down. Jump down? Yep. Jump jump. Jump jump. And then jump, jump. move north. <laughs> right, northwest. <laughs> yeah. Could you say that weirder? North. <laughs> Alright, Tosa is gonna hop down the ledge and then go north. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dennis. I'm not in range. Really. Norlands. 
Wait. Ready an attack to huck a javelin at number nine. Number nine? Number nine? Eat it most. When yeah. it comes around. Merrick Slaw, you're up. You could... You know, pull up on the reins. Okay. And stop. Only going one space. Okay. While we wait for number n nine. Number nine. Number nine. So I want to attack... So nine is, is in attack range. All right, so you and Merrick... Or, I'm sorry, Merrick and Gar are going to hold action mm -hmm. with Toset until number nine is in range. And we're just going to blow them up. All right, number nine comes in range. And kicks also. Go ahead. I'm out of ranged weapons. Uh, it You can actually do melee attacks because you're next to each other. Yes! I get a 23 to hit on their wheel. That'll that'll hit. And I deal 5 damage to it. To its wheel? Mm-hmm. Okay. The wheel is broken. Yes. Toset, you have a ready to action? I do. Quite. Go for it. That's going to get me to a big old 14. That'll hit. Three whole damage. Two. The same wheel. No, the other wheel. The other wheel is damaged, and Gar is also going to throw an axe. Gah. Yeah. He is going to hit the broken wheel, and the thing no longer has wheels. The damaged wheel. Where, yeah, uh, so one, both wheels are now broken. And due to that, it is going to roll very poorly and veer off the edge. Right into, into the, pit. the pit. We have winners! Chicken dinners? Now that's what I call chariot racing! And as he says that, you hear the grinding sound of moving gears and stone grinding in against stone coming from the pit. Something is happening. But you won't find out until next time. Thanks for listening. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Botch Podcast. Thank you to our newest patron, Jessica Davenport. And if you want to be as awesome as her, head on over to patreon.com slash botch podcast to support us. Currently at this time of this recording, we are only $11 away from our $200 a month goal. So, no better time than now to support your favorite podcast. Also, thank you to the people who took the time to head on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review, like Nightmare Lovely, which was also our newest patron, Jeff Jessica Davenport. Thank you, Double Time. I wish everybody was as awesome as her. And as always, when you're trying to force alliteration into narration, you can fail and just yell botched and we'll totally understand. See you next week, nerds. Squatch you next... Squack, nerd, bird. <laughs> Squatch you next week, turds. Yeah. He got you. What, you had a baby? Yeah, I had a baby. And then, and then John ate it. Ate it. <laughs> <laughs> John, take care of this. Sustain ourselves because our fridge doesn't work. We have to. It's like eat a snake bite. You live call live John and he <laughs> latches in and sucks out the venom. Yeah, <laughs> from the vagina. <laughs> Suck out the parasite. The baby vagina. The baby's vagina. <laughs> the, baby's, uh, the baby God. parasite. The baby out inside her is pregnant <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Gross. It happens. No. We're not. No. We're not going <laughs> no. there, John.